Oh, baby, I was just rocking really hard. But you can't rock on uh, Twitch without getting the copyright overlords mad at you, so we, we stopped rocking really hard. That just fell, like, right before I hit play. Like, skulls just rain from above? Like, is this just, like, free money down here? We are in the River Crevasse. Ooh, brownstone thing. We've been down there. Yeah, we fought those flymen. We've been all over down there. We went down there last session. All the way down here till we were off the map. Fought a... Well, we got near and uh, forge Gollum, and he was just like, I fire heat-seeking forge missiles. And he's just like, why? And he's like, because I can. And I'm like, this is stupid. And he's like, die. Not exactly the most healthy of relationships. Um, but hopefully today is the day we finally run into John Elden Ring. This is definitely reminding me of uh, Rey of Lucaria, where you fight the dragon. You know where that is, right? Let's see. He's over here, isn't he? It says Temple Quarter. I think he's like right in this stuff. Because like the easy way down is you jump from like the bridge onto this thing and then you drop down again. The dragon's like right there. So far, I'm not really enjoying the boss fights in this DLC. I like the exploration, but everything just seems to be kind of like, yeah, you know what? Tanky. And AoE spammy, and that's it. And I'm just kind of like, this isn't what I want. Which I guess means I'm not a true Souls player, I don't know. Oh, really cool! Oh, wait, we'll, we'll, we'll come back in a second. Okay. Really cool is I had turned the lantern on. Uh, actually, we put it over here. And between the lantern and this sword, we were making, like, purple glowing stuff in the water. It was actually really cool looking. This game has a dope lighting engine. Yeah, you can see the colors kind of mixing a little bit in the water around our feet. It's mostly red, but there's a little bit of blue and stuff. And when it was real dark and we were in waterfalls, it got super cool looking. Oh! Oh, stop, 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 stop. You're getting out of control. Just stuck now. Ah, we're just stuck. I don't think we were supposed to be back here doing this. All right, let's get off the horse. Torrent. Torrent. But boy, this sure looks like there's something up here. Could this be despair? Maybe. Oh, what's... Oh, there's just nothing back here. Okay. Interesting. I feel like there's something there. Be wary of giant sort. Wrong side. Got him. That, that's a rookie mistake. Don't fight on foot when you can fight on horseback, because then you can abuse Torrent's life bar. I 
I guess the giant sort were the raddies? No, look at this place. There is some kind of boss just lurking, waiting for me right here. Okay, well, I want to try jumping around on this thing a little bit more before I give up on it. Here's back side. Let's go to the front side. Back, back and forth, forth and back, back and forth, forth, back, back and forth, forth, back, back and forth. Um. Yes. What do appraisals get for you anyway? Like anything? There's really nothing up there, is there? Yeah, I bet we could scale pretty far up this wall, but I don't think it's worth the effort. Well, let's go meet Giant Sort. Okay, we got a round rock. Not to be confused with a rolling rock. Oh. Okay. Oh gosh, get out of there, Torrent. Did you didn't even aim at him? Bro, you didn't even freaking aim at him. Alright, well that's half his life bar gone. He finally got a hit in on me. Yeah, alright. We got this guy's number this next time. But you're still poopy. Are you really supposed to come in here at, like, when you're walking around with, like, a plus three sword? Like, that seems crazy, man. So now is homie just going to be sitting on the ground waiting here? Got to get past the rats, so we'll go ahead and get ready for them. Crap! Stuff like that is stupid. These rats one-shot torrent. You're just some freaking rats, dude. Here, let's see how easy you are to kill. You have absolutely no right to even hit me, much less my horse.
just gonna go back over here. Like, I don't care. And next time, I'm just gonna kill you with arrows from far away. Like, whatever. All you've done is ensure that you will die. This, this is not a recipe for success. Can I not rain of arrows from horseback? I guess not. Ooh, let's get a rolling rock. Y'all ain't so tough now, are ya? Okay, so we know this nerd is gonna show up over here. I think he'd like actually flinch or something from all that damage. To just being immune. Alright. Move! You no, know, let's just finish him off with magic. Like, I, I have absolutely no interest in fighting this thing. Is he stuck there? Can he not get around that corner? Because I'll just cheese this. I'll cheese it super hard. Okay, apparently that, that is the secret, what we just did. You fight him from around a corner. We got no additional loots, like he didn't drop me a skidoo tree fragment or nothing. Oh, another round rock. Thank you, giant death laser. Comet Azure continues to be the MVP of spells. Everybody likes some comedy. There are two reasons I expect over doing an int build. One is just to try different swords in Rivers of Blood, which pretty fun, no lie. And I went through pretty much the whole base game. Rivers of Blood equipped. But, 
I also wanted to do like some sorcery stuff. Like I I wanted to shoot giant death lasers. Swapping over to an int build, let me do that. So I'm sure, given time, I could have figured out how to fight this guy like all the other ulcerated tree spirits. Or I could just laser him. And lasering worked just fine. I've got so much money. I'm gonna have to go find something to spend it on. Probably more smithing stones. Uh, I seem to be doing this thing where I'm crafting random gear up to like plus 24 or whatever. And I just need I need money to buy smithing stones. I've apparently got a bojillion level four smithing stones. I don't know how that happened. That's right, I said Bojillion. It's a large number, if you don't know. Pickup? Nope, that was not a pickup. Puke acid at you. That's awesome. Dude, these little fly guys are really cool. I like them. They feel like they should be hanging out with Dung Eater, though, you know? You know what I mean? Hold on, I got a... Vacation... That artist's Discord hits me with a Discord notification like three times a day. Dude, puking that up sounded like it hurt. Did you hear that sound he made? Like, it's like, dude, I've made that sound before when I'm sick. I guess there's nowhere to go up there. It just sure looks like they want you to go up here. I haven't been playing Jedi Fallen Order for too long. Like, I, I see, like, a teeny tiny lip, and I think, ah, yes, that's where the game wants me to go. Great game, by the way. The final sequence of it was really something. But uh, I'm not going to talk about it like too much here because we would get into spoilers. Real fast. These guys just sound like they're in pain. I bet you guys quit following me, huh? Uh-huh. You want to play range attack? I can do it, too. Oh, I'm sorry. Did, did you not did you not like the game you were trying to play? My bad. My bad, Ski. The 
if you kill them, you get fly mold. So there's more fly mold than just what's on the ground. That's good to know. The thing I saw, it's used in some recipe. <laughs> we right under the bridge here? What? Where are all these bodies coming from? I can't look up far enough to tell. Yeah, I see a giant crab. crab, not kill the crab. What was he running from the killing? Rolled away. Something back in here to fight? Well, that's a do gem. Those respawn, I sure hope they do, because I looked them up on the wiki. There's like no information other than it's a crafting item. Old dragon. It must be in here. This does feel kind of like an area where a dragon would swoop down, doesn't it? Probably close enough. Oh, we got him. How many lighting changes have we just been through right here? Several. I saw a tumbleweed in real life. I was going to Mount Rushmore. And there was just a tumbleweed at the rest area right across the state line. Oh, these guys look angry. Don't they look angry? Oh, he's so angry. about you, buddy? Well, we can just shoot your stalk. Alright, we're gonna leave the dog alone. Two-headed turtle talisman.
increases stamina recovery. Now that's kind of cool. Alright, well I think that was a nice little trip. A jaunt, if you will. Sweet, we got some beast liver. Now if we find some onions, we got dinner. Sorry, man, I like sea motion, and I gotta kill it. Vision is based on movement. And that just go, wait. Where we were just at? Yes, there's those dead crabs. Okay. Alright, so that's just looping back. So we want to go this way. There's a grace site over there. I guess we'll go grab that real quick. that in the minute or two that we've been screwing around here we got that much of our FP back Get out of my way guys <coughs> excuse me Or are these because they jumped off, or what? The answer seems to be yes. Alright, well, thank you for doing research for me, guys. Was he trying to get over to that? Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. see it. Hey, we got a Mushroom Stiller's Ball Bearing 2. Also, we haven't taken those to the little old ladies yet. Maybe that's a good next step for us. Certainly a way down right there. They're a way up. I... You know? 
I bet I could get up there, but I don't think I can make that next jump. All right. Anyway, I'm going to pop over to the round table, and we'll start the next episode off by giving those bell bearings to the old ladies. So let me put the BRB up. We will BRB.